Hi everyone, today is the 9th of May and I'm just coming back to you because once again the Lord has given me some very interesting visions in the last few days and um, the reason I'm showing you a picture of a key is that my first vision last night was um, about a key and um, I was actually lying in bed praying and I just knew in my spirit that the Lord was going to show me something last night. Um, I could just feel his presence there and so I was praying with my eyes shut in bed and my first vision that I saw was of a person who I thought was me but I might be wrong because I didn't see a face but this person was carrying a folder and other things in their arms and um, they looked to have quite a, a number of things. And so, um, hence, for all of a sudden, something dropped onto the floor. And when I looked down, it was a key. Now, um, it wasn't an ordinary key. It looked quite old, and it was a very unusual shape. And so I have actually sketched it in my diary and I would love to just show you my sketch because it was quite unusual. So there we are, brothers and sisters. Um, as you can see, the, the top part of the key, it was something like this. It wasn't exact. But um, if you look at the bottom portion of the key, that was very much like um, almost exactly what I saw. I think my focus was on that bottom part. So it wasn't really anything like a traditional key shape. It was very odd. And um, after, I, um, after this vision, I sat up and I thought about it for a little while and I started to think of some scriptures that could be relevant. And rather than try and interpret this, I don't think there's enough information, but um, I think the Lord was just pointing us to a few verses. I'd love to read them to you. So the first scripture I'd like to read is from Revelations 1.18 and um, I've looked it up in the King James Version for those that feel um, they prefer this version and it says, I am he that liveth and was dead and behold I am alive for evermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. So it is my understanding that that um, person that it is referring to is Jesus, the one who liveth, who was dead but now lives forevermore, and he has the keys of hell and of death. And then there's another scripture in Revelations 9 verse 1, and it, it reads, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And then just lastly, this verse is Matthew chapter 16 verse 19. And it's Jesus saying, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What you prohibit on earth will be prohibited in heaven. And what you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. So, um, family, I was um, lying in bed thinking about all these things and praying to the Lord. And as I did, I found myself saying, Jesus is the gatekeeper. He protects us and decides when we should come and go. He holds the keys to all knowledge and to kingdoms. Now, I am not sure if those words were from the Lord or whether they were just thoughts of my own, but they did just seem to flow. And um, I just think they are really great um, aspects of this whole subject to remember that the Lord is the one who holds the keys to um, what is allowed in our lives and what isn't. But he has also said, as we saw in Matthew, that he will give us keys. He will give us the keys so that we can 
decide what should be allowed and what shouldn't be. We have the power to banish evil from our lives. And interestingly enough, not long after this vision, I had another vision. And it was all about protection. And so I would love to share that with you. Okay, so the second vision, um, I saw myself in a blank set set almost like a um, on a stage with just I was it was like I was standing in a white room um, nothing around me no furnishings or anything and I felt very small in that area and as I stood there or I'm not even sure I may have been sitting on the floor I was aware of the fact that the Lord's hand great and enormous I came above me and all I saw was the hand and what I saw was a cloth. It was sky blue in colour and this cloth was gently draped over me until I was entirely covered. And um, that was the end of the vision. But as that um, cloth fell on me, I felt the protection and the covering of the Lord as if he was hiding me. And um, I think this is the key, brothers and sisters. Um, and how, oh, Interesting that I used that word, isn't it? Because I think that's how these two visions link. What the Lord was saying is possibly that um, he has the keys and um, it is not long before things are going to be unleashed that are not going to be kind to us and we are going to need protection. And so um, that is why he showed me uh, the second vision where he was put in, putting a covering over me. And I don't believe this vision is just for me. I believe he does it for us all, and that is why I'm sharing it with you, brothers and sisters. He was saying, don't worry, there are things coming that are going to um, be frightening, but he will be our hiding place. And I would love to share just one more vision I had um, right when I first started having visions. Um, in 2016 it was, um, it was the 14th of November, and what I saw that day was a loaf of bread, and it was one of those rectangular loaves of bread, but the um, it was as if one slice had been cut off, and the crust had been taken away, and the whole of the inside, the fluffy white part of the bread, had been scooped out so that it was hollow. And I believe that vision also was the Lord saying he would provide a hiding place for us. So um, I just feel that it's really good for us to be confident in knowing that one, we have the keys to um, prohibit evil in our lives and two, the Lord himself will be a covering. He will provide a hiding place for us. Finally, um, brothers and sisters, I just want to go back a few more days because also on Sunday the 6th of May, the Lord gave me a couple of other visions which I felt were quite significant. And bearing in mind the things that are happening at the present time with um, Trump pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal, I think that um, possibly things are going to heat up in world politics for sure. So um, what I saw this particular night, uh, well, interestingly, I could hear myself talking in my sleep to the Lord. And what I was saying was, things are happening at a great rate of knots and we just don't know what's going to happen next. And then suddenly, straight after I said that, I saw a flash vision of fighter jets. There were three of them and they were black in colour, I didn't see any distinct markings, and they were all diving steeply towards the earth. I didn't have any interpretation with that, 
uh, but I think possibly it is fairly straightforward. And then a bit later than that, I also had another vision. And this one was the first time the Lord has ever given me a specific vision that was related to the United States of America, or well, that I can remember anyway. So I'd just like to show you what I saw. Okay, so um, this was the second vision of that night on Sunday night, and I saw um, the shape of a cross. It was a wooden cross, and as you can see, on the cross, on the top portion of the cross, there was a bald eagle. Now, there may have been more of the eagle present, but I really can only remember seeing the top half of it. Now, um, as you can see by what I've written there, when I woke up, I thought that I had seen a crown on the head of the eagle, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, but either way, I'm fairly sure that the bald eagle is representing the United States of America. And I'd be really interested to hear what you have to say, your interpretation of why it appeared on the cross. Um, as you can see there, my comment was, um, was the Lord saying that the USA was going to be attacked? Um, probably because I also had seen the vision of the fighter jets. And um, if the crown had been on the eagle, I think that it represents the kingdom of the United States. So um, I'm just, I'll just leave that with you. I think um, I won't read too much into that vision. Um, let's just leave it as the Lord gave it to me and uh, we will just see. I think often it's just a matter of presenting things, these things to you, brothers and sisters, and then we watch and wait to see what the Lord is doing, um, which is what I did when I shared with you about three or four weeks ago, I mentioned to you that the Lord had given me three words in a foreign language. And when I looked them up, they were Hawaiian words. Now, I was never quite sure of the correct interpretations for those words, but I felt it was an alert to watch Hawaii. And now, brothers and sisters, look what's happening there with the earthquakes, the volcanic um, activity, and people having to evacuate. It's very serious, and so um, I just love to present what the Lord has given me, and then we just watch and wait together. Um, if he is really wanting us to see something specific, he will give us more information. Um, so, brothers and sisters, I think I'll leave it at that tonight. There have been a few other things, um, but uh, I will share those at a different date. But um, my blessings to you all, and I'm, I must, must say that I'm enjoying watching many of yours, uh, your channels and seeing what the Lord is saying to you too. Um, so much is happening. So God bless you, and we'll talk again soon.